Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can import list data into QuickBooks using Microsoft Excel. You can also easily copy and paste data from an Excel workbook into the lists within your company file without having to perform an import. To see how you can perform this task, please review Lesson 3.11, Adding Multiple List Entries from Excel. However, in addition to being able to copy and paste the Excel data, you can also perform an advanced importing of Excel data into your QuickBooks lists. You can import information from an Excel workbook into your QuickBooks customer, vendor, item, or account lists. To do this, select File from the menu bar, roll down to Utilities, choose the Import command, and then select Excel files. In the window that then appears, you can click the Advanced Import button. On the Setup Import tab, Click the Browse button at the right end of the file text box to launch a dialog box where you can select the Excel file to import. You can then select which sheet within the workbook to import from the drop down below the file name if needed. If the data that you are importing has column labels, check the This Data File Has Header Rows checkbox to use the topmost row of data in the selected sheet as a header. In the Data Mapping section, you must then tell QuickBooks which columns in the Excel file should be imported into which fields within the QuickBooks file. You can click the Add New Choice from the Choose a Mapping dropdown to create a new data mapping for your Excel data. This will launch the Mappings dialog box. Here you must type a name for your new data mapping into the Mapping Name text box. Then select into which list you want to import the data from the Import Type dropdown. When you do this, the available fields in the list will appear in the left column. For each piece of data that has a match within your Excel import file, click into the right column and select the name of the Excel column, if your list has headers, to which the data corresponds. Now when you're finished, click the Save button to save the data mapping. To preview the data before importing, click the Preview button. This will show you the data as it would look when imported, along with any errors that would occur if the data was imported. Now at the bottom of the window, you can select how you want QuickBooks to handle imported rows that cause errors. Now when the data looks good, click the Import button to import the data. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.